Buzz is king. Welcome back to A Father's Bookshelf. This is an offering to our guild group, Mary, Queen of the Home Domestic Church Group. Our guild community is an international community of Catholics against the Marxists. And perhaps the most important thing that a lay person can do is raise their children and pass down the faith. But as a father, my fatherly care and anxiety, perhaps more than anything, has been to save my children and protect them from a pornographic world. Because as Our Lady of Fatima says, more people go to hell for sins of the flesh than for any other sin. And so how, how I, I've, I've pondered over this for, for years and years. And because there's really no way to escape the pornographic world unless you become a monk, unless you become Amish. There's no way to escape it. And how do you do that? How, you, how do I inculcate in my children uh, this virtue, especially in my sons, the, the chastity of St. Joseph? Well, there is an excellent book series by uh, Kristen Jensen. This is the book that we're looking at today. It's called Good Pictures, Bad Pictures. And this is, uh, I, I don't know the other books in the series, but this is the one I've read to my son already. And so this is designed to help equip children and keep them safe from pornography. Okay, so here's the book. Um, and so it, it introduces the concepts very, uh, very simply in a way that makes sense to children. And it, so it says there's there's good pictures and there's bad pictures. So it, it goes through and defines there's all these different good pictures that are just basic pictures. We've or, always seen them, but there are some bad pictures. Now, the, the one of the things that's um, difficult is that it does use the word pornography right here. So I, I black that out because I don't even want my children to know that word yet. But it does use the word pornography and it introduces the word. Um, one of the things is that I think pornography is a terrible word even for the thing. It should really be called bad pictures or evil images. That's what it should be called. Um, but it introduces bad pictures, pornography, by talking about the beach. It, and it just talks about clothes. And, you know, children understand when you're naked. They understand when you're at the beach and what people wear and what people don't wear. And so it talks about how all the, there's all these different bad pictures that you could be exposed to. And then it introduces the concept of picture poison, which is really great. And then it gives, gives the, the greatest part about this book is that it gives the children practical steps, things to do when they see it. Because that's the problem is that they're going to see it. It's only a matter of time. And so it gives them this, these practical steps. And so it's, it's a very good practical book. I've already found a lot of great uh, benefit from it after I read it to my, my sons. And they really put these things into practice. And so it's a really good. So thank you very much to um, Kristen Jensen for putting this together.